Okay, today we are going to add the icing, decorations, and shadows. You'll be using your tempera. This is liquid tempera. It's going to be in these egg cartons. You'll have the primary colors, black, white, and brown. When you do this, you're going to have a little magazine. This has kind of a shiny surface and you can mix colors on this. Fold that in half and just keep that on your messy mat. Use a lighter color first. So I'm just going to dip the tip of my brush into this white. And I want to make sure that I'm painting kind of an oval on the outside and the inside edge. So this is kind of my oval. You see how I'm kind of going around the outside and then I'm kind of coming right in next to this edge. But I'm just going to use white first. It's actually, it looks like it's mixing with the brown. If I need a little bit more, I'll just dip the tip of my brush into that. And I'm going to make sure that I get a nice, even coat so it covers my donut, just like real icing would. But I'm not going to paint this part or the bottom part because we're looking at our donuts from the side and we want to make it look like we only see the side of it. Now if I want this to look more like a pink color, I've got white already on it and it's already mixing with the brown so it almost looks vanilla. I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to rinse it out in the water, just give it a little swirl, wipe it off on the side, don't tap your brush. If a little bit of water is still on it, that's okay. Now I'm going to go back and use my red. And I'm only going to dip my, the tip of my brush in the red. Oops, I got a little too much red. We'll see what this looks like. I'm just going to mix that right on top. The water kind of helps mix it in with the white. If I see a little bit of that white, that's okay. And sometimes I think it's nice when I see a little bit of the brush strokes. So I'm just using my brush. I'm kind of laying it. I'm having it straight up and down. I'm kind of pushing down and that's mixing in with my white. That's like a really pretty color. Okay, if I need to make like an orange color or a green color, I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to take my little magazine here. I'm going to get a little bit of that yellow right on there. I got a little bit of my red still in there because my brush wasn't super clean. Now I'm going to get a little bit of my red. I don't need a lot of red to make orange. That looks like a nice orange color. I'm going to use orange. Maybe I'll do some decorations on the top with orange. Oh, I can't see those very well. Well, I'm not going to use that orange. Add a little bit more yellow to it. That looks better. Maybe I will use that orange. So I'll do this one. Can't see that very well. Sometimes if I add white to a color, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. The white kind of makes it stand out a little bit. I'll keep working on that one later. Okay, after you've done all your icing, let it dry. So once you've done all your icing, well, the first donut I did will probably be a little bit drier. And I can go back and add some decorations. I can add some sprinkles. The white will stand out really on those. I can add some lines. Maybe I can add some stripes. Maybe you can think of another design you can make. If I add, let's see, I'm going to dry this off a little bit. I might add some blue lines. Keeping my brush straight up and down gives me that little teeny line. I'm not using a lot of paint because then I can control where it goes. If it's not perfect, that's okay. Remember, this is supposed to be icing, so it's not going to be perfect. Last thing you're going to do, once all your icing and your decorations are done, you are going to do your shadows on the opposite side and keep the shadows right along the edge of your donut. You're going to use the black for this. This really makes the donuts pop and stand out. So I'm just keeping my paintbrush pretty straight, using the flat side to kind of smooth out those lines, pushing my line out when I need to, and that looks really nice. It makes that donut really stand out and look pretty good. Um, after you are finished, raise your hand. I will come get your donut paper from you. If you need to, you can wash your hands. This needs to be thrown away. You can just fold that in half and throw that away, and we'll get some activities to do when you're finished. If you need to change your water, let me know if your water's not getting your brush clean, and I'll have someone at that table change your water, and then we are done.